Visitors to this year's Art and Bloom Festival can expect more flowers in more galleries and more spaces outside as well as inside. We have five platforms this year that are being done by professional florists, Watered Garden, English Garden, Eclectic Sage, Blossom Artistry, and Chapel Hill Florist, and they're going to be astounding. In January, the designers came to an orientation where they chose their works of art by lottery. They picked from a basket and were able to trade lunchbox style if they really didn't like what they were given. And then they got to go home and build their piece in their brain and come back and build it for real right next to the work of art that inspired it. So general admission gets you access to everything floral. You can come into the West Building, turn left, and go through five different color-coded points of interest and uh, 56 different floral works of art. So each of those is attached to a work of art that the artist took their inspiration from and you, get, you walk through there, the smell's gonna be wonderful and the color's gonna be amazing. In addition to that, we have the installations that are outside that are donated by anywhere from our park volunteers to local nurseries, local artisans, and even the gardens of North Carolina in Manio. The People's Choice Award is a ribbon that we're going to award the designer who is your favorite. So you'll come in and you'll vote with the ballot slip that you can pick up at our West Information Desk. And on Sunday, we're gonna tally those votes. And you can find out on our Facebook page or our Instagram account who won that award. In addition, we award a ribbon to Director's Choice, and that's Dr. Larry Wheeler's choice for his favorite. So presenters have two different opportunities to shine. Art and Bloom is not only for adults. Children can come this year and do origami paper flowers in the plaza. And there's also a scavenger hunt inside West Building where you can find your work of art based on some clues and come back and win a prize. Some of the highlights of this year's festival are our presenters, Olivier Junier, who's coming from New York City, originally born in France, and David Beam, also coming from New York City. He was actually an Elon grad, so he's coming back to North Carolina to visit us. We have also got um, Ashley Woodson Bailey. She's doing a florography. In addition to that, we have new installations outside. We've got the Elizabethan Gardens from Manio, North Carolina is recreating a 16th century garden. They're going to be bringing plants that are of white and blue colors that you would have seen had you been alive in the 16th century. The North Carolina Museum of Art Park volunteers are doing an installation outside. They're writing the word bloom in all different materials from the North Carolina Museum of Art campus. Designers come back daily to refresh their arrangements. They'll come in and they'll water and they'll look for anything that may be wilted and they'll pull that out and replace it with something brand new so that on Thursday you'll come and have one experience and on Sunday it will be exactly the same thing. The flowers will still be fresh. Let's celebrate spring at the North Carolina Museum of Art Thursday through Sunday.